हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेरी गुड इवनिंग वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टैलेंट ट्रेडर्स माय सेल्फ बाला हियर आई एम वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल इन द दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट माय गूगल शीट इट्स अ स्टॉक ऑप्शन स्कैनर फॉर इंट्रा डे एंड वीकली ट्रेड्स एंड मंथली ट्रेड्स तो मैंने पीपल वर आस्किंग अबाउट हाउ टू यूज दिस इंट्रा डे शीट सो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दैट मेनली एंड ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू अपडेट दिस शीट फॉर the last week of february that is uh, 26 to 29 uh, that is the expiry uh, last week of uh, expiry that is a monthly expiry is going to happen uh, this week okay so we are not going to take any new opportunities based on our uh, weekly and monthly positional so already uh, we have a lot of stocks so uh, more than uh, uh, 21 stock which more most more than uh, 50 percentage and uh, 40 percent is around 26 stocks more than 20 percent almost 32 stocks which increased uh, based on our advanced option strategy concept so from here we have to filter out the stock having liquidity and uh, volume so that only we should uh, manually filter out and finally we find a lot of opportunity for a uh, call side for this month and put side also we have some stocks like 20 percent is more than nine stocks that was giving you such a good opportunity for this month i seen uh, this month uh, one of the stop loss which is happening on tata motors uh, and one more stocks i think two stocks which triggers our uh, stop and gmr that already moved it our target then it came down okay so that you need to filter based on your uh, um, logic so based on our logic so we advance option strategy concept so if you are using any edging strategies also that will be protect in case of uh, down move so i seen uh, tata motors uh, still it isn't higher from our entry point but what happened uh, it was came down and uh, one day it triggers our stop loss and then it bounces back so if you are using uh, our edging strategy that would be a better for uh, tata motors here 73 so now it is trading uh, 56 so it triggers and it went to and due to gap up that was triggers around 73 now it is 56 okay so if you are following the sheet so we will easily find out three to four stocks per monthly and two to three stocks per week and in ready so we are going to plan for uh, this one based on the camera r4 breakout so everyone who are asking uh, how we can effectively use so let i'm going to explain with uh, one of the trades uh, So here uh, Camarilla pivot point is uh, one of the good one for a breakout so that we can use for uh, intraday. I'm uh, just going to update this at the moment. Okay, so whether the settings are will be there. Okay, I think I have resetted my browser so that the reason uh, the older settings are again. So I think it is there. So let me go for any one of the stocks. In this case, uh, some of the stock which may not be a liquid on a daily um, basis trading. So that will always showing you 100% that kind of stocks you should remove. So let me check uh, any random one. So 2400 Stiram Finance. So let me check Stiram Finance 2400. So based on the Camarilla R4 breakout, how we filter out, you can look at this. So here is the R4 level that r4 level is exactly around 50 rupees and after the breakout it went up to 65 and 71 is the maximum high after it came down so this is what the exact thing which i'm filtering out with that particular scanner so how we are filtering out so and the stock uh, in the first 15 minutes it never break the entry point so 15 minutes time frame so we are looking for this eye is not to break so that would be uh, fresh breakout so in the first 15 minutes the level would not be break that we consider as a good breakout so in this case the stock which broken around uh, so 11 o'clock after uh, 11 <coughs> we got a breakout so 50 rupees so how do we fit a stop loss for this trade it depends on your risk ability so you can keep your stop loss on pivot point i was not mentioning the pivot here okay or you can keep a r3 below as a stop loss or even some trades uh, we can keep a s4 below as a stop in this case this is what a fresh breakout that we filter out from this uh, google sheet so may maybe any other irctc 935 so randomly we can check 
935 call option whether it is given in the breakout you can look at this uh, that was not updating yet uh, the pivot levels so we need to wait for this what happen hmm. you can see in this case on the 15 minutes it's not updating okay so in the five minutes because the pivot level can cannot be changed and it is a fixed one if you are changing on any time interval so 24.5 is our uh, r4 level but in this case the stock or uh, the particular strike price around 9 30 it opened above r4 in the first five minutes itself so it is not considered as a valid breakout it is invalid so we simply ignore this uh, so such a thing you need to manually filter so simple idea uh, after 9 30 you can look at for uh, the stock which is trading below 100 so because it's 100 if it is reached means that was giving you the breakout opportunities on those stocks so we have to wait if the stock reaches 100 then it would be a breakout so for example some stocks like uh, you can see uh, ambuja cement 935 sorry ambuja cement 595 okay so let me check uh, because it is near it to that breakout point maybe it previously given you the breakout but right now it is trading nearby so here is the breakout this is a valid breakout around 11.45 so it is happening around 12 12 15 or 12 30 something this is what a breakout and valid breakout from that it went up to 18 so after that it came down to the same level so you need to uh, check uh, if any stock which is nearing to that um, breakout level so we should <coughs> check the chart whether it is previously broken or not so if it is not broken previously that would be a valid breakout if it is already broken that is not a valid one so let me check uh, zs life 900 same like that put option also uh, we are looking for only uh, 100 with that r4 breakout you can you can look at this this is also be a valid breakout which is happening around 10 o'clock from that level of 22 and it went up to 41 so randomly you can check idfc 117 Oh, IDFC 117 whether it is given in the breakout so you need to easily filter out so this is opened about to the level so simply ignore the stock so by based on this google should we have to try to follow two or three stocks per day uh, in intraday that would be great and best and better for intraday opportunity same uh, monthly uh, which one works for a positional concept which you have developed and based on the advanced option strategy course and you can also utilize or you can also apply your uh, strategies which you are applying uh, which already you used okay so here those who are known about our uh, strategies they can uh, directly utilize our uh, strategy weekly also with the same uh, every week it is going to be reset so this week almost 25 percent above eight stocks which we find out and uh, from there we need to filter out a fresh breakout let me uh, uh, example into hotel 540 this one uh, we have to wait for a breakout so we have taken out this trade from uh, 19th onwards okay so this uh, this particular chart from 19 to 23rd so when our breakout point is broken so that breakout point is 19.2 so from this point 19.2 is our breakout point so in this weekly so we have that uh, entry point got triggered on so almost uh, 21st february on uh, 12 12 and 12 that one o'clock nearby so this is what a breakout and uh, based on the concept which you know well where we can keep a stop loss and it came down to 16 um, 19 to 16 and initially it went up to 24 again it came down now finally reaches to the peak of 60 so that can be possible so Sun Pharma 1510. Let me check a Sun Pharma 1510. That is what a call option breakout on weekly basis. So our entry point is around 42.3. So we are looking at this entry point from 19. So 42 may be not triggered, maybe at this point 41. So that was not given you the opportunity. That is also you need to look at whether the trade is possible or not. Uh, it possibly uh, whether we got an opportunity or not so if that opportunity is uh, not triggered so we should ignore the stocks it is a maybe a gap up and gap down so by using a weekly opportunity so we should focus uh, one or two for example hero motor cup put option in a downside <coughs> four nine double zero let me check what is happening hero motor four nine double zero put sec so both as happen call as well as put so we can look at this is a huge gap up here on 19th february 
closing is around somewhere 181 our entry point is around 205 so next day opened which started with 260 means that doesn't provide you the opportunity federal bank 165 put option it is happening whether it is given you the opportunity you can see uh, 19th february closing is 5 rupees and the next day open by uh, almost 7.45 our entry point is 9 so in the first candle itself it reaching towards 13 so it is not a valid trade 9 is our entry so you need to filter these conditions to find out one or two opportunities only so in monthly also we are not uh, taking out 30 40 stocks so we have to filter out three four quality stocks okay so intraday i hope you understood the concept how we can uh, effectively use this intraday as well as weekly and monthly positioning okay so let i'm going to update you the data for uh, next week but i tell you so the next week if you are planning so you need to take a trades in atm and itm you have to pay higher margin why because of due to physical delivery you have to pay huge margin for that particular uh, trades even if you are buying uh, options okay and also the liquidity would be very poor on uh, expiry week because of a lack of uh, retail participant so we should avoid the week or you can simply follow uh, intraday only so don't carry positional and if you are holding any monthly positional base that you should exit out from the trade so this is what a concept so next week is the uh, expiry week so we are not finding uh, any good opportunities uh, positionally so intraday you can uh, use for it some of the broker allowing to take a trade on intraday basis that would be around wednesday okay so but uh, sometimes so if the option which came into the itm uh, you have to pay higher margin for that also okay so you keep your margins good so rlc will be facing a margin penalty so something which is going to happen so that in the part uh, so last week normally we are not going to look for an opportunity but monthly sheet would be same for the month and it would be updating on uh, 1st of march only okay so we are going to start from uh, next week update so which is going to be updated on the sheet and we should focus any quality and intraday only so not for a positional so let i'm going to update uh, the sheet right now and if you have any questions and doubt also you can ping me on my whatsapp the number we shown on this video or if you want to learn more about our positional strategy then you can ping me on my whatsapp number to get more detail how to how we effectively do the positional trading strategies and we are planning very limited number of stocks one or two or a few so last month we filter out 15 stocks so in the first week itself six seven stocks moves uh, target that's good enough now the sheet is updating and uh, here intraday uh, weekly is going to be update and monthly is still it's not going to update why because of monthly sheet uh, which we are looking for only uh, monthly ones so let me check what is happening yeah so here some options uh, like biocon zeal gnfc britannia in a put side so these are all the options it's not liquid and in this case uh, this one this one and these are all the options not liquid so even if you are going to focus for an intraday trade you should avoid this stock and in this case this one is not a not liquid so i will show you in the chart anyone why it is not liquid so sun tv 635 okay sun tv 635 the call option strike price based on the chart you can see there is no liquidity at all so here yesterday it is not that they started a trading on 19th february so still 19th February after 19th February never traded okay so that's the reason okay so it will be showing you exactly that our entry point so these stocks you should uh, ignore uh, tomorrow so don't want to take it okay uh, here for example Ashok Leyland 174 put option so that has also been not liquid one you can see the price is not traded 6.2 very flat so simply that avoid uh, this stock you can uh, mark it as it is in a Ill Ill liquid so not having good volume so after that some of the stock which is nearby entry so tomorrow after market opens so some of the stocks may be some of the strike prices may be triggered our entry point that is a breakout r4 that can be happen uh, in the first 15 minutes itself so you should filter out those stock uh, which is happening in the first 15 minutes and you should focus only the stock which is going to be triggered after 
nine thirty. That should be a uh, good and fresh breakout that you can utilize for your intraday opportunity. I hope you enjoyed the session and weekly sheet also going to be updated. The RBL bank may not be liquid. Okay, so it is already our entry point. So two seventy of RBL bank. So let me check if you are seen that it simply ignored it. It's a four rupees and uh, maybe it's opening RBL bank two seventy call option, right? I think uh, maybe uh, four rupees is the current price. Maybe it is not a liquid yet. So if you are seen on the live prices, you may have seen. And remaining options are nearby 58. When it is reaches 200, that should be an opportunity. Monthly, it never changes. And monthly positioning, we are going to not hold any. So because nearing to the next party week. So we should wait for uh, first of um, March to get a new opportunities. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. And if you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe the channel. And if you have any questions or at all, you just ping me on my WhatsApp now. And uh, before, uh, if you are not yet subscribed, kindly hit a subscribe button. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.